Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Since there was such a good response to the Wallet Fresnel lens video yesterday, I wanted to introduce you to its big brother, the page magnifier. I bought this page magnifier probably 10 years ago at Staples for $8. And it's not really the magnification that matters. It is the size of the lens. If you can imagine, all the photons that's coming down through this one side are being concentrated into a focal point. But if this was even a half size bigger, just think of all the extra photons that would be concentrated down into a focal point. So that should help you understand that it's the physical size of a magnifier that determines if it's gonna make a great solar igniter. And you see how much bigger this is than that Wallet Fresnel lens. Let me show you five or six examples of how powerful this is. Let's start off with Fatwood. I have this dried up piece. Let's go ahead and break it down a little bit and see how quickly we can get flames with it. And I got a pretty good wind blowing this way, so as usual, we'll do the best we can do. that you always wear shades when doing solar experiments. If you stare at a focal point too long for more than like 30 seconds, when you look away, you'll see a dark spot in your vision where you were staring at that focal point. It goes away, sometimes in a half hour it'll go away, but that's kind of scary. And just like the wallet Fresnel lens, this Fresnel lens has ridges. Put the ridges towards the sun. thinks that fatwood would just burst into flames but the ignition temperature of fatwood is actually higher than what you might think because of all the moisture in there it's got to drive off all that moisture let's go ahead and make some fatwood shavings now Very, very strong solar igniter. All right. Now, I have never solar ignited t shirt material but I have ignited it plenty of times, like with an empty Bic. So let's just see. <laughs> Almost immediately. Now you can't see that flame. Let me get it against my shirt so possibly you can see it all of this bright light.
that was really fast compared to the fat wood, which had to drive off all that moisture. Let's try the denim. Ready? That thing immediately ignited also, which you really can't see unless it's against a dark background. Those were two immediate ignitions. So I would expect the same thing. Oh, what I want to do with these leaves is to take these all the sticks out of these leaves and ignite the pile of sticks. So I'll put this right here. Let's try to ignite this pile of sticks at the base. I have flame, but I'm gonna let it get a little hotter before I take the focal point away. Let's see if that's self-sustaining now. Looks like it is. So the leaves ought to be very easy also. We'll save these for the end, I guess. Let's do some pine needles. That ought to be really quick. Don't blink. If there's any lag between the time that I put the focal point on it and we get ignition, that's because I don't have the focal point good and tight. Because as soon as it's zeroed in and good and tight, it's going to flames immediately. Good. And let's go ahead and we'll end it off with the leaves. Let me remind you before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop down list, select all. Do give the video a like.
Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. If you're not trying to ignite a solid surface, you can't really tell how to fine tune your focal point. So that's the only reason it's taking this long to ignite it. With such an irregular surface, I can't tell how tight the focal point is. There's some flames. We'll catch you on the next one.